People, pe people hate us right now. <laughs> okay, welcome to another episode of Dave Trippin. So we are in downtown Tokyo right now at Shinjuku Station. I am joined by my awesome good, good friend, Asagi. Yeah. Yeah. And we're meeting up with some more really, really good friends. Handsome Dean, you may know from other videos, and an old friend of mine, Drew, who's one of the reasons I'm in Japan. We're going out for some drinks and some food at an izakaya, which you said is a little different. Yes, uh, I reserved izakaya, which has private room and mm. yeah, relaxed and chill. Cool. Yeah, so a little more relaxed and chill. Food's gonna be great. It's cool to see old friends. So let's go check it out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. So there it is, Shinjuku Station, downtown Tokyo. It's amazing. Every time I come downtown, the amount of people that you see, as in here, the hive is happening, it's real. It always blows me away. May it never cease to. It's, it's amazing to see that people can even function and not all kill each other when we gather together in these kinds of groups. So something I really like, I probably mentioned it before, is the character that you get in restaurants in Japan. And one detail of this kind of character is eighth floor restaurants. Look at that. That's insane. So we were on the eighth floor. Uh, but before going up, stroke of luck, we met my good buddy Drew on the way there. Haven't seen Drew in some time. So this is really cool. As soon as you got into the place, one of the first things you see is this kind of like tree. I don't, I don't think it's entirely artificial, but with these cool ever-changing lights. And I, I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's people that you can see uh, through that window there. That would kind of be cool to see the people entering or whatever. I don't know if you've seen Only God Forgives either, but uh, that movie, the color scheme in this restaurant distinctly reminded me of that movie. I love it. It's underrated. More people should watch it. And here, this menu. It's not an incredibly novel thing in Japan that they would have a menu like this, but beyond being an electronic menu, which you do find all over the place, the variety. I wondered, like, I didn't see, you don't really get a sense of how big this is, but they must have an army of people pumping out this food. Because this list was extensive does not do it justice. That is not saying how many things are on this list. It was massive. We were still waiting for our friends, but that wasn't going to discourage Asagi, myself, and Drew from having a kampai. And soon we followed up with the full team kampai. As you should. You can't not have a cheers as people arrive. You keep having to add the cheers on. It's never enough. And it was no mihodai, so no shortage of booze. So the first item of food that we come up to here is a delectable plate of sushi. We've got fresh octopus, salmon, tuna. It's amazing. I think I also gave honors to Dean to try one of the first pieces, which he accepted gladly. Or last, oh, I stand corrected. He may now kiss the sushi. Moi, delicious, so good. Uh, what was the next thing that came up? No surprise, I was gonna love this. It was beef. Beef in any way, shape, or form I really enjoy, but this was a delectable beef. A beef to blow your mind. It had a nice jus on it, which is a sort of uh, reduction. That's when you boil down some other kind of flavor so it gets like thicker uh, more and more delicious. You add deliciousness, basically, is what's happening when you do that to the jus. Uh, and I don't mean jus in the sense of someone who's incredibly funny or has hair similar to mine when it grows out. We're talking about a sort of food stuff that you would enjoy when you go out to eat. Dean kind enough here to, to serve us all. Just, uh, just a good team player, that Dean, always willing to help out. A number of reasons why I respect him, that is one of them. Okay, and the food just keeps coming. I couldn't believe how many courses we had. It was like, uh, not all you can eat, but you ordered like five or six courses beforehand. And believe me, it was totally enough. You can see there's more beef there. This is probably, probably the most Western thing we had, was like just this classic salad, nice dressing on it. Oh, so good. And the next one, this is to die for. I tried to get this slow, sexy shot up this dish because I, all this stuff is so fresh. The colors are popping. It's, it's a visual experience. It's not only a, uh, it's an entirely sensual, sensual experience. It's the way it tastes. It's the way it looks. Everything was so good in this restaurant. So, so good. A little bit of a challenge getting it served, but UKA succeeded in the end and uh, got... Dean loaded up with some delicious food. And what a good time, right? Like you hit that stride, 
you've had a few drinks, everybody's having a few laughs. It was such a good time. I haven't seen Dean in a while because Dean lives downtown. I live out in the countryside now. Drew is frequently back and forth between Canada and Japan. He's, uh, if you read my recent blog post on my uh, website, I, I talk about Drew actually and all the wondrous things that he's up to. He's, he's doing well. Uh, but it's really hard to see him, like I say. So it was so great that he could come out on a night like this. We could all get together, kind of the stars aligned. It has that kind of feeling. Yeah, so the food's done. And what do you do when the food's done? You hit up more drinks. So here we are having a little cold sake. I can do the hot sake, but I'm not the hugest fan. So that's loaded up. Kampai, cheers, chin chin, whatever you want to call it in whatever language you're from. It's all the same thing. It's good times. And the men were to eventually hit their whiskey. I'm a big fan of whiskey, but not too much of it. I find that whiskey has the habit of making me, it makes a good man cruel. <laughs> so I try not to have too much. And at this point, we uh, the game face is, is totally on. We are knee deep in good times. I think I'm discussing my new political platform at this point. I'm convinced of my own greatness. Uh, however unlikely that is. And Drew was kind enough to give us a good farewell at the end of the night. He, of myself and Dean, without going into great detail, he speaks fantastic Japanese and through pure effort, like ridiculous effort, he has the JLPT-1. And if you ask around, believe me, that is not easy to get. Uh, so yeah, he's a hard worker beyond a best friend. What an incredible night. What a good time. Should we all be so lucky to come out and be able to do these kinds of things with our friends? And I love so much that I'm able to show it to people on the channel. So like, subscribe, follow me on the social media. I'm going to, uh, I'm on Snapchat now. So if you want kind of like shot by shot of events like this, uh, just follow me on my Snapchat. That's down below. Uh, comment, tell me about what's like a great experience that you had while you were in Tokyo in your own country, dining, I don't know. Let's talk about your life, your day, whatever, it doesn't matter. Let's just talk. Thanks again for checking out this video. This is Dean's official way to say goodbye. I don't know if he's patented it, but I've seen a habit of it. <laughs> Anyways, catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Cool, yeah, so we're getting a little bit more of that personal, quiet, chill experience here in Shinjuku. Food's gonna be great. Awesome. God damn it. <laughs> 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 <laughs>